Military tanks normally used for war now roll through the streets of the city of Arequipa. The patrols are part of a national state of emergency put in place in Peru Wednesday as the government struggles to restore calm after days of widespread protests over the ouster of former president Pedro Castillo. The military are not only in the streets, but they've also been ordered to protect airports, highways, hydroelectric dams and other key infrastructure in the country. The state of emergency grants police powers to search homes without permission or court order. It also suspends Peruvians' rights to gather and move freely. But that didn't deter Castillo's supporters in the southeastern city of Cusco, which saw protesters clash with security forces Wednesday. There were similar scenes of chaos in the capital, Lima. There, demonstrators gathered outside police headquarters where the former president is being detained. At any given moment, they will have to call off this state of emergency and we will rise with force. They have committed a grave injustice, not only against President Pedro Castillo, they did it against the will of the people of Peru. In a bid to appease demonstrators, President Boluarte has pledged to move up elections that were originally scheduled for 2026. The elections can be brought forward to December 2023. People are asking for it to be earlier than this, but that would be legally impossible. Boluarte's presidency has certainly been off to a rocky start. The former vice president replaced Castillo last Wednesday after he attempted to dissolve Congress ahead of an impeachment vote against him. That move led to his arrest on the grounds of rebellion and conspiracy.